Progression of technology didn't leave the progression of aircraft technology behind, and it is a never-ending race that has seen incredible advances in the highest achievements of piloted aeroplanes. Hey guys, welcome to Brain Feed. In today's video, we're going to discuss the world's fastest aircrafts, so buckle up and get ready. Also, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon so you don't miss any of the latest updates. In the 1960s, the North American Aviation X-15, built for America's National Aeronautics and Space Administration (NASA) to conduct high-speed aeronautical research, was the fastest plane. The X-15 was initiated from a B-52 mothership to travel as fast, just like its single-reaction motors XLR-99 RM-2 liquid-fueled rocket engine with 70,400 pounds (313 kilonewtons) of thrust might take the aircraft. On October 3, 1967, the X-15 reached 4,520 miles per hour, or Mach 6.7. So now, the first one is the F-A-18 Super Hornet. In early August, at the Boeing Seafair Air Show, the Blue Angels made their first appearance where they flew a new combat jet, the F-A-18 Super Hornet. In early August, at the Boeing Seafair Air Show, the Blue Angels made their first appearance where they flew a new combat jet, the F-A-18 Super Hornet. Aviation technology has advanced dramatically since Orville and Wilbur Wright's first flight in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Several decades have passed and the limits of maneuverability, construction, and speed had also surpassed anything those two forefathers could have imagined. Brilliance, the spread of travel, and battle have all accelerated the engineering race to develop a most effective and efficient aircraft. Different types of engines and design styles have been combined to produce the world's fastest vehicles. Countries such as the United States and Russia have pioneered the development of supersonic aircraft, some of which were invented generations earlier and remain in use presently. The second one is Suhoi Su-27 Flanker. The Suhoi Su-27, a Soviet twin-engine fighter jet that was originally designed to compete with American fourth-generation fighters, is still in use today. The Su-27s, nicknamed Flankers, are over 35 years old and reach top speeds of 1,600 miles per hour, or around 2.3 Mach. The Flanker was designed for supermaneuverability and air superiority, allowing it to perform a variety of aerial operations. Many variants of Flanker include the Chinese Shenyang J-11, were built as a result of its success and overall strength as a fighter jet. Another faster jet is Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-25 Foxbat. The quickest jet fighter is the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-25 Foxbat, which can reach Mach 3.2 or 2,190 miles per hour. Although not as fast as just some retired or exploratory aircraft, the MiG-25 is the only aircraft in service competent of extreme speeds Mach 3.0, making it by far the fastest fighter jet in service today. A Russian-built fighter jet created in 1970, the MiG-25 has remained one of the fastest fighter jets ever, and is still used by a few air forces around the world, despite being out of production and in limited service. So the next one is Mikoyan MiG-31 Foxhound Another Cold War item, the MiG-31 Foxhound improved on its precedence besides compromising speed while maintaining maneuverability. However, the plane remains one of the best greatest in the world, with top speeds of 1,900 miles per hour, or 2.83 Mach. In addition to its high speed, the Foxhound was among the first aircraft to use radar systems to intercept stealth aircraft. With it happened to come the same ability of Soviet jet to launch long-range air-to-air missiles, a feat achieved by only just one aircraft at the time. So now the next one is Shenyang J-11. Several of the second-best aircrafts are knockoffs or even exact replicas of similar designs. This same Chinese Shenyang J-11 is predicated on a faster Soviet aeroplane that is still being manufactured. The J-11 is among the fastest manned aeroplanes or aircraft in operation, with a maximum speed of 1,553 miles per hour, or Mach 2.35.
The J-11 is a versatile fighter, capable of both bombing runs and maintaining air superiority in aerial dogfights. The next one for you is Park F-111. The General Dynamics External One at Park is an American supersonic medium range in a dictator tactical attack aircraft that has also served as a jet eject, nuclear bomber, aerial reconnaissance, and electronic warfare aircraft in its various configurations. It has a top speed of Mach 2.5. The next one after this is the XB-70. It was to become the world's biggest, fastest, and highest flying bomber in history. With a sharp angular design, six afterburning engines, and the most advanced targeting navigation and electronic warfare systems America could muster. It was until it wasn't. Today, the Valkyrie serves not only as a reminder, but also the apex of the Cold War aviation philosophy of circumventing defenses with ever higher and faster platforms. The XB-70, like America's famed SR-71 Blackbird and its defunct interceptor sister, the YF-12, aim to deliver on both in classic American fashion by consuming budgets like jet fuel. The XB-70's early designs relied on what engineers termed the brute force concept, which called for a massive amount of fuel to be carried for a long-duration subsonic flight into Soviet territory and an aerodynamic design optimized for high performance during a relatively short sprint through enemy airspace. This approach resulted in extremely large concepts that made use of external fuel tanks that could be jettisoned when they were drained. These tip tanks were disposable, but they were neither small nor inexpensive. According to a 1960 congressional report, each 191,000-pound tip tank was roughly the same size as America's existing B-47 Stratojet long-range bomber. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon so you don't miss any of the latest updates. Thanks for watching.